here are the highlights. So um, we're still going to talk about all the precipitation we've had, but we're looking at mostly dry weekend coming up. Uh, the rains will primarily be affecting us Monday and Tuesday. Any rain that occurs over the weekend should be very light. We do look for a big swell. What's that mean? A uh, high surf pounding our beaches uh, coming up here uh, starting Saturday. Could have some big sets over 10 feet. Heaviest precipitation is going to be Tuesday uh, for most areas uh, when it comes to snow, Tuesday and Tuesday night. So the uh, showers will linger and um, the storm will be departing on Wednesday. So we'll still have a few showers, especially in San Diego County. Overall, one to two inches for the coast and valleys, highest in Orange County. Precipitation in the mountains will be a little bit more, one to three inches. And uh, locally, even more than that in the San Gabriel Mountains. So you can tell a better storm, more precipitation further north. The rainfall rates will peak sometime Monday night and Tuesday. Uh, should mostly be under a half inch per hour. The snow levels do start high, so keep that in mind on Monday, the holiday. The snow level flirting around 7,500 feet, uh, but then it lowers on Tuesday to below 7,000. It may touch 6,000 as well by Tuesday night. Best chances of rain are Monday afternoon through Tuesday. The state precipitation looks like this. This is predicted. So you can see Northern California, Sierra Nevada, the Shasta Range, uh, four to six inches of water, a lot of that snow. Go in the valleys, uh, one to three inches. You go along the coast, two to three inches all the way down to LA. And then it tapers off at the Mexico border pretty sharply. Probability of one inch is shown here. Uh, so you can see it's basically Orange County, uh, Western San Bernardino Mountains, San Gabriel Mountains, and then LA North where really high probability overall for uh, rain exceeding an inch in a 72 hour period. So basically in a, in a couple days. The totals are shown here. So precipitation amounts uh, generally one to two inches with three in the mountains, uh, much less in the desert. So not a big storm for the deserts, but it will rain. Then when you go into LA County, amounts are gonna be a lot more in that area, but even Northern San Diego County, a lot more potentially than Southern San Diego County. The snowfall, as I mentioned, snow levels will be flirting around 7,500 feet on Monday, then they'll come down 6,500 on Tuesday. So it'll be difficult to accumulate much snow below 7,000 feet as shown here, but could be some big snowfall in the San Gabriel region as shown here, uh, up above 7,500 feet, such as the Baldy Notch. Temperatures will be mild. So before all this rain, uh, still great weather in terms of mild temperatures. These temperatures are actually several degrees above normal in the mountains. And uh, this is gonna continue uh, right into the weekend as well, with just a slow cooling trend, uh, mostly due to clouds over the weekend. We've had a very active jet stream as shown here. We're gonna get back into uh, an active jet stream uh, early next week. So this jet stream uh, that brought us all this recent precipitation was pointed directly at us and extended all the way across the Pacific Ocean as shown here. This is a reanalysis of what's happened in the past in the atmosphere. The atmospheric river map here shows that um, despite all the precipitation, we've only had four that made landfall you can see the dates are shown on here as well. The precipitation amounts uh, are significant now uh, after that uh, two week cycle of storms. So along the coast, again, we're up almost to 150% of average in some places. Uh, our mountain areas still need more precipitation, especially the Sierra Nevada uh, and even the San Bernardino Mountains as shown here are um, still below normal. The snowpack across the state is below normal. Uh, though it has inched up, it's up around 75% of average. It's way below what it was this time last year in 23. You can see it's uh, closer to a lot of the more recent years as indicated on these charts. The weather pattern that's gonna bring us more storms. Okay, the first system's gonna go to our north on the 17th. You can see a little system going across Northern California uh, and that will have an atmospheric river as well. The main storm is still sitting well offshore on Saturday. So that's why we're dry. Now we remain mostly dry on Sunday. Again, uh, some passing light precipitation Saturday night, early Sunday. 
but the main precipitation will hold off until very late Sunday, probably Sunday night and early Monday, because by Monday the storm drops down. We get into that white line, the storm track or the jet stream by Monday. Now notice uh, the colors are getting more green rather than blue. So this storm is uh, filling. It's warming, it's milder, it's less unstable. Uh, so it is weakening as it moves towards Southern California. So that affects the atmospheric river and the overall strength of the storm. Now, by the time uh, we get to late next week, there's a possibility of a much weaker storm. Um, this one is just a, a passing weather system. So we'll, we'll get a few showers on Wednesday, the storm will exit, then Thursday looks dry. And then there's a potential this one could clip us on Friday of the following week, but it looks weak. And it's reflected. Uh, the latest outlook for that period indicates central Southern California for some precipitation. Now the atmospheric river that we're looking at coming up here looks like this. Um, the first part of it really weakens and falls apart between the 18th and the 19th. So that's why um, we only expect some, some very light precipitation over the weekend, mostly dry. Uh, but when we get on Monday, uh, a new atmospheric river, um, not a strengthening one, but a broad one, moves into central California, Point Conception, and then slides down into San Diego later Monday into early Tuesday, as shown here. Probability for rain, uh, if northern areas, Western Inland Empire, the Orange County area, generally one to two inches as shown here. With uh, the rain coming down Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning uh, with the core of it. The outlook um, still remains active potentially. Um, we have that weak storm coming through late next week. And then we also have um, the potential in early March. Um, indications right now um, are not looking significant but the storm we have coming in, as you can see here in dark green, uh, is significant, uh, especially for central Northern California. The latest outlook was just issued. So for March, uh, expected storminess to continue. Um, uncertain if these storms will be significant or even strong, uh, but still the jet stream looks like it'll be dumping some weather systems even early March into California. So the latest outlook is green. Here are the highlights. Um, take a look at these um, and see how they apply to your area. Larger precipitation totals to the north, uh, such as Orange County and northward. Lighter amounts as you go south towards the Mexico border. Snow levels a challenge on Monday, um, but they do start to come down Monday night and Tuesday as the main storm starts to arrive. Uh, but initially, um, not much snow below 7,000 feet. But we still could see some big snowfalls, such as the San Gabriel Mountains, up around 8,000 feet. Uh, plan accordingly, mostly dry weekend, but do expect uh, you might have to use the windshield wipers a little bit, especially if you're heading north towards Orange County or Ontario, because we do have a passing weather system uh, Saturday night. Uh, but the main storm system is holding off until Sunday night and Monday before it rolls through on Tuesday. All right, everyone, stay safe.